Are you aware of the things that can cause miscarriage? Whether you have experienced miscarriage before or are trying to conceive, it's important to know some factors that may affect your pregnancy. Today, we'll shed light on seven possible causes. So let's dive into these seven possible causes of miscarriage. First, we have caffeine. Maternal caffeine consumption during pregnancy links to an increased risk of miscarriage. Research led by Dr. Dakun Lee of Kaiser Permanente in Oakland, California, concluded the regular intake of 200 mg of caffeine a day increases the risk of miscarriage. This level of caffeine is what you typically find in two cups of coffee. That means you might want to think twice about that extra cup of coffee in the morning. Next, smoking. It's no secret that smoking carries many health risks, and this includes a higher risk of miscarriage. In another research study of almost 1,300 Japanese women who had past pregnancies, those who smoked heavily during the first trimester of the pregnancy had double the risk of having a miscarriage than the women who didn't smoke at all. So, if you're trying to conceive, it's a good idea to kick the habit to the curb. Then, we have exposure to heavy metals. Two heavy metals that mess with your fertility are mercury and lead. In men, mercury affects sperm production while in women, it can affect hormone regulation and ovulation. Lead, on the other hand, can cause infertility in both men and women, amongst many other things. To help you minimize your risk of coming in contact with these heavy metals, you can lower your intake of possible mercury-containing foods, tuna, shark, king mackerel, tilefish, and swordfish. Also, keep the use of non-organic cosmetics at a minimum. Fourth on our list is electromagnetic radiation. While the effects are not fully understood, it's always better to err on the side of caution and limit exposure where possible. Moving on, we have alcohol. Heavy prenatal alcohol exposure is linked to an increased risk of stillbirth and preterm delivery, so it's best to limit or avoid alcohol during pregnancy. Next up are drugs, specifically, certain types of antidepressants that may be associated with a higher risk of spontaneous abortion. If you're on these medications, it's crucial to discuss with your healthcare team to weigh the benefits and risks. And finally, aspartame. While the impact on miscarriage risk isn't explicitly mentioned, it's still something to be aware of. These are just a few factors that can potentially lead to miscarriage. It's important to take care of yourself and your body during pregnancy. Understanding these risk factors can help you make informed choices about your health when trying to conceive. Being aware of these potential triggers of miscarriage is key to making healthier choices for both you and your unborn baby. Knowledge is power, and with this information, you're better equipped to navigate your fertility journey. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Your insights can be a great help to others. Thank you for watching.